Wolf Cop is meh. There. Review done. Alright, just kidding, but I don't have much to say on this one. It's a self-aware comedy that fuses everybody's two favorite things, wolves and cops. Basically, we follow Lou, one of the three cops in the small town. He's also the town drunk. His father was a cop who died when he was a boy, and he decided to follow in his father's footsteps, or at least to try to drunkenly stumble in the same direction. One night while checking out a noise complaint, he gets there to find a guy tied to a tree before getting knocked out and waking up in his own bed. He reports to the scene of the murder the next morning where he sees the victim as the tied up guy from the night before. Lou starts to have brief memories of some occult looking ritual. Later that night while in the bar, he transforms right before some guys try to attack him. The transformation sequence in this movie is very reminiscent of like Trick or Treat where they rip off their skin to reveal like the beast beneath. Except this one's much funnier because it's his dick. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, so he kills everyone who attacks him and awakens Cuff to his friend's bed the next day. He's told he's a werewolf. After some compelling evidence, he believes it and is left in charge overnight when he transforms again. This time in his wolf form, he decides to go solve some crimes. And spoiler alert, I won't be giving away the whole movie, but I am going to give away a key element, because otherwise there's really just not much to say about this one. Turns out the town is run by shape-shifting creatures who want to drink his blood on the night of an eclipse. Will he save the town slash himself? Who knows? I mean... I do, but I don't really care. This movie doesn't really take itself seriously, but also doesn't commit itself enough to being wild in a fun way. You only get a small block of the movie where he's a true wolf cop going around solving regular sized crimes as a wolf, which is definitely the highlight of the whole movie. This is what I wanted to see more of, but most of it just focuses on the super corny plot that I just didn't care for. If this seems like your kind of cinematic experience, check it out. Otherwise, maybe stay far away from it. 3 out of 10.